As I had promised, we're going to talk about the new Walter Masterson video and watch it. And I think this video is not just entertaining, but it's informative because it really shows you how uninformed and gullible GOP voters are. And this is why I think that the left needs to engage with these right wingers, not like these right wing propagandists, but just normal working class Republicans, because they're pretty easily persuadable. Not always. If you hide the ball, perhaps they'll be more uh, receptive to your message. But I mean, just look at what Walter Masterson says and how it just flies over their head. My uncle was thrown in jail for his political beliefs. They confiscated his ice cream truck. Uh, they took away all his weapons. His wife can't even contact him in jail because she's not 18. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Well, <laughs> you're 100% you're right. It is crazy. Every American wants oh, wait, wait, wait. You don't stop to question, wait, what were the circumstances here? Just because he was a Republican, so they're like, your ice cream truck is gone. And then he drops the, you know, his wife couldn't even contact him because she's under 18. And it just goes right over his head. Did you hear it? D did you hear it and not care? What the fuck is going on here, folks? Liberty and the pursuit of happiness. That's what our country was founded upon. My uncle was uh, persecuted for his political beliefs. He was, you know, taken off to jail. They seized his ice cream truck, the, confiscated all his weapons, and he, his wife can't and even why? his and his wife can't even contact him in jail because she's not eighteen or anything like and that. And why? Exactly. It doesn't make any sense. It yeah, don't make any down. sense. Excuse me, lady. Did you not hear what he just said? His wife can't even contact him because she's not even eighteen. I mean, look, maybe if we're <laughs> if we're really trying to be charitable here. They were just so distraught by the details that Walter was providing them with that the really important fact here that his wife is under 18, maybe that just was lost on them. But I mean, as you're going to see, a lot of them just don't think twice. Um, so is this like normal in Republican circles, like where child marriage is just a thing? And so you're like, yeah, yeah, oh, that's weird. Of course, his uh, minor wife should be allowed to contact him. I, like, I genuinely don't understand this. Um, it, it's very creepy. It's very weird. But I'm, I'm going to try to be charitable and assume that they just didn't hear that part. Because you know when you, like, blast someone with a bunch of information, sometimes parts of that will just go over their head, the most ridiculous parts. And so Walter Masterson is kind of priming them to think about government tyranny and overreach of power and even if he's doing this in a very hyperbolic way which should still raise some red flags in their minds if they have any critical thinking skills you know dropping in that oh she's under 18 if they don't see it maybe it's because of the other things but uh, either way holy shit factory all the children oh, there man, are true. unemployed and it's okay like, okay hang on yeah. i gotta go by yeah, so he brings in because she's not picking up on it it wasn't subtle enough he brings in child labor down his factory all the children oh, there man, are unemployed and it's overreach like, yeah. government overreach a lot of people are Lady. getting how <laughs> how do you not see that he is not being that subtle okay walter masterson is an incredible actor and he plays all of this very well with a straight face but i mean the things that he's saying not that subtle okay and they're just going along with it this dude is wearing the Constitution here, uh, you can't really see it, but he's wearing the Constitution and an American flag. One question that I always have for these people who wear, like, American flag garb, like, you've seen them at these Trump events where they have, like, the American flag button-up and the American flag uh, shorts or pants. Like, if they fart, isn't that technically flag desecration? That's a question that I actually want to ask someone who has a flag suit. The only person who I know that has a flag suit and has worn one was on the 4th of July and he was doing it ironically put in jail over their political beliefs would you agree yeah yeah ab absolutely especially what? over January 6th my uh, <laughs> uncle was <laughs> okay, also okay. <laughs> that's that's a little bit different than their political beliefs right because they they put those beliefs incorrect beliefs that the election was stolen into action and they stormed the fucking capital 
people died on that day. And these dipshits just think, oh, well, God, yeah, those people in jail, it's because of their political beliefs. I mean, these people are morons. Like, so many of these folks, I genuinely don't know that rehabilitation is even possible. They might just be too far gone. They're off in la-la land, and they're just going to live in their own version of reality, preferably crafted by Donald Trump, in perpetuity. It's it's sad, but even though it's sad, I'm going to laugh at it because if you can't, you know, um, laugh, then perhaps it's just going to depress you. I don't know. Put in jail for his political beliefs. They came, took away his ice cream truck, confiscated all his weapons, and now his wife can't visit him in jail because she's not 18, and it's just a nightmare. And Nothing. It's all, you know, because of your political beliefs right. and, you know, things you... Right. Is that a January 6th guy? What? January 6th guy? No comment. Oh, okay. All right, I got you. Good answer. That's okay. <laughs> they took away his ice cream truck. They confiscated all his weapons. His wife can't visit him in jail because she's not 18. It's like a mess. Oh, my and God. That's my unacceptable. God. This was in New York City. What? It's Long Island. Okay, first of all. When this guy said, oh, my God, I thought he was going to, like, finally refer to the the under 18. But now you have uh, three people here and they're all like, oh, yeah, that sounds normal. The wife part being under 18, that sounds normal. But like these circumstances are crazy. What the fuck is wrong with these folks? Oh, wow. How sad. How sad. We certainly need I hate to say it, be political, but we need Lee Zeldin. The, the person that is governor right now is absolutely unacceptable. Yeah, Lee Zeldin. Lee Zeldin. Lee Zeldin. Yeah. I wanted Giuliani, but Zeldin's the best chance we have, so of course Zeldin. They confiscated his... And he's referring to Giuliani's son, by the way. Now, finally, we arrive at this guy here. This is the only guy who he talked to. And I'm, I'm not sure how many people Walter Masterson spoke to altogether, but this is the only guy who actually has more questions he's not just accepting what walter masterson is saying to him as fact and this is a problem like if you hear a story from someone like you shouldn't just accept it like there should be elements of that story if the, if it's warranted where it raises these red flags where you start to be a little bit skeptical but these folks they have no skepticism like once you join that cult they're in that bubble and nothing can penetrate that it's genuinely insane but it seems like this guy is like the only person here with a little bit of common sense. Cream truck what? took away all his weapons. And now that he's in jail, his wife can't even contact him because uh, she's not 18. And it's just like- She's not 18? You know, so how no did freedom that happen? How could they take his ice cream truck? I mean, oh, okay, wait a minute. Now I'm thinking about it. I can, what I can visualize, I mean, I'm just taking a shot in the dark here, but one of the parents is like, oh, he's saying something to the kids, oh, yeah. something to do with minors, and we're going to, oh, oh, you got a gun, oh, you did, uh, we're yeah. going to take all of the guns that were in the ice cream truck taken, you know, and they're all like, oh, children, guns, oh, this Okay, is so this right here gives me a little bit of hopium, right, because he may not be the most eloquent, but you can actually almost hear the gears in his head turning. He's thinking, wait a second, okay, maybe it's not just about his uncle's political beliefs. Maybe there were actual crimes committed. There's minors, there's weapons. So it gives me a little bit of hope that this person is like, okay, maybe I should question this narrative because as you can see, you know, Walter Masterson, he's, he's LARPing. He's trying to blend in. He has the same shirt. So just because they perceive you to be in their tribe, that kind of disarms them and they're more susceptible to believing someone in their tribe. But this person, for whatever reason, decided to just like, be a little bit uh, skeptical and he's not buying it which is good like i want to see this like i want to live in a world where Mal walter masterson as funny as this is wouldn't have this work on any of them they'd be like wait she's under 18 hang on a second maybe he deserves to be in prison why did he get his ice cream truck taken away it, ha it can't be as simple as oh he has political beliefs that the government disagrees with that seems a little bit implausible no like i want to live in that world but we're just not there and walter masterson has time and again showed us that we're, we're nowhere near that world and this kind of just shows you that like the media has failed our education system has failed in large part due to republicans trying to defund it and the way it's set up so you only fund schools based on property taxes which puts you know certain people in disadvantaged districts where they don't have that much funding i mean that's neither here nor there either way 
we need to fix this as a society and try to find some way to educate these people because i like i don't want to come to the conclusion that most of these republicans are lost causes but how do you not reach that conclusion when they get duped so goddamn easily because he stands for like freedom and liberty and yeah. you know it's like it's, in, it's cancel culture yeah yeah yeah, yeah. wow I'm sorry to hear that man yeah. Yeah. thank you so like he's sympathizing but he's not just buying it all that's what you should do don't just buy every fucking thing that somebody tells you and look to be a hundred percent fair it's not like you know leftists don't do the same thing sometimes right if you see somebody and they're wearing like you know garb that leads you to believe that they're in your same political in-group perhaps you do let your guard down a little bit i certainly do right but if you really have no critical thinking skills no common sense that's what leads these people to completely suspend reason and just accept anything you have to have some level of scrutiny with vetting these things, vetting these claims, but they don't. Smartest Republican at that rally. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Because, yeah, like, you know, he... You could tell that his bullshit detector was going off, but, like, mm, you know, I'll, I'll give him credit, right? Because he was he was trying to be polite. He was sympathizing. But yeah, Hilda B says, chat, the moral of the story is don't purchase ice cream from a pedophile who has guns in an ice cream truck. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, that was great. By the way, uh, obligatory, please support uh, Walter Masterson. He only has 39,000 subscribers. And that's a lot. But Walter Masterson should have more than a million subscribers. I mean, his work is incredible. Um, I haven't finished this, this video yet. Um, we watched this last week on the show, but he attended a pro-life protest. Just incredible work. And this is the individual who trolled Matt Gates in real time. So go subscribe to him. If you're not, what are you doing with your life? Make better decisions. Don't be like Republicans. Do good and support Walter Masterson's channel by subscribing to him.